Is my grandpa secretly Commissioner Gordon? What burger of the day do I want to eat today? How does Ben Grimm have children? How is Hope going to get herself out of this one? Hmm. Let's have a conversation. Hello. Welcome to Conversations with the Goob. That's me. Now let's have a conversation. Uh, before I get started, I do want to give um, credit where credit is due. Um, I probably wouldn't be making a video like this if it weren't for a couple uh, other YouTube artists. So um, they are my inspiration for the uh, video like this. Um, it's a it's a Pixar theory, uh, but it is uh, Seamus and the Carlin brothers. Uh, I'll put links to their channels down below. Um, Seamus does a lot of Disney and Pixar type videos, and the Carlin brothers they're all over the board with uh, Avatar, Harry Potter, um, Disney, you know Pixar, Marvel, but they do a lot of theory videos as well. And uh, if if I didn't see theirs, I probably wouldn't have the thought to do an actual video about it but um next i want to tell you after i get that out of the way um spoilers for soul um so if you have not seen the movie yet and do not want to be spoiled click away click away right now right now all right if you're still here that means either you've seen the movie or you don't care about being spoiled so here's my main my big theory uh well maybe i should i should uh in the movie Soul, we are met with this gentleman, Joe, and uh, Joe ends up dying um, right on the same day that he gets his dream gig, um, and so the movie is with him going to the great beyond, and he jumps away from it, escapes um, into, uh, you know, the area where all the new souls are being born and, and uh, trained to go to Earth, and that's where we meet 22. 22 is a young, well, not really young soul, it's, uh, she is like thousands of years old uh, and has not, just not been ready to go to Earth yet. Now, I know this, this, this kind of echoes along with you've always hold, heard, oh, that person's such an old soul, probably because, you know, their soul stayed in uh, whatever they were calling it um, for so much longer that, uh, you know, they're, they are a lot more older. They like a lot more things. They're experiencing a lot more things, and that's probably what happened with with 22. We don't get to see what happens when 22 finally makes it to Earth. Um, so the whole the whole point of it is you get your personalities. Uh, they just the uh, you know the they randomly put you through these places that help set up your personality for your soul for when you go to Earth. And until you're ready to go to Earth, um, you're not able to get that final dot on your your earth badge until you're ready and 22 has been around for thousands of years of just missing that one piece and she has not been ready she claims she doesn't even want to go to earth and wants to stay where she's at but after getting stuck she goes they she tries to help joe get back to his body she gets into his body he gets into a cat's body and uh she ends up experiencing the joys of life and then decides that she's ready, gets her Earth badge, blah, blah, blah. The rest of the movie happens. Uh, she ends up going to Earth. That's It ends with that. Well, I mean, it ends with Joe getting a second chance, but 22 sent to Earth. We don't get to see who she is. But what if we've already seen who 22 is? Soul is a prequel to Inside Out. First off, look at, look at them. Look at at 22 and look at Riley 22 is Riley Riley has that gap in her teeth just like 22 does and then it makes sense why joy is the emotion that runs Riley because 22 the whole purpose that she got that made her decide that she needed to go to earth was joy when she experienced the joys of life she finally decided she was ready to go to earth uh, you know so that's why she has so much joy. And Riley has such enthusiasm for life. She's, you know, before she moves, she's into trying all these different things. And even after she moves, she's still trying new things. It's just that she's a teenager and life gets to her and she gets sad and misses where she was at. But like, that's life. 
Plus, if you look in the movie Soul, 22 lost herself for a bit. Just because she already went through that doesn't mean that she wouldn't go through it again as a human. It means that she already has that part of her personality where she loses herself when she's not feeling right. Um, she's not feeling enough joy, and that's what happens. Sadness takes over in the in you know Riley's mind, and she doesn't feel like herself for a while. Uh, we move a little further. We look at uh, Billabong, Riley's imaginary friend. He's wearing a brown jacket and a brown hat, very similar to the brown jacket and brown hat that Joe wears in the movie. And I mean. If she has, you know, the soul has these memories imparted, imparted on her, maybe that's why she was, as a child, still had some of those memories from her being a soul before those completely faded into, you know, subconscious. And so she created Billabong. I realize I keep calling him Billabong, and he is actually Bing Bong. Sorry about that. It is Bing Bong, not Billabong. With these random very slight memories of Joe and that's why Billabong is into music and Billabong has the brown jacket and the brown hat but then we also look at his badge that he wears that little flower with all the little different petals on it very reminiscent of what the earth badge looks like it's a round circle with a bunch of different colors around it and maybe that's also why you know there's the one spot the one color that doesn't match any of the emotion colors in uh, Inside Out is because that's the one color that, you know, it's the one that uh, 22 couldn't get for thousands of years, and so it represents that. And uh, you look at, it's a badge, it's the Earth badge, and Joe's wearing it because 22 gave her Earth badge to Joe originally before he gave it back to her. I just think this is an interesting theory. Um, you know, there is the Pixar theory, and the whole point is you need to find a way for these movies to fit into the movies. And I think it's great. Like, I think it, it kind of, this theory of mine works. Like, it's 22 is Riley's soul before she was born, and we get to see how she got her emotions. Joy runs her life because that was when she went to Earth, Joy ran her life. Oh, and I almost forgot. Riley loves pizza. Pizza was a big thing with Riley. Riley, you know, that was why when they went to their new place and the pizza place was like broccoli pizza and it was like weird and it was different. And that was one of the things that set her off. 22's first food that she ate and got addicted to was pizza. Pizza was a big thing for 22. She saved the crust because it was a great memory from her time on earth. And it just, <laughs> look at that. So I think it helps with the, you know, so now we know in the Pixar world, emotions kind of run your your mind and certain emotions are more prevalent than others. These emotions were formed um, while you were a soul before you came here. And that's why whatever your main purpose is, is what the soul, what is the emotion that runs your mind. So joy was 22's purpose and joy ran Riley's mind. Uh, I mean, it just, it works. And when you think about the fact that in in uh, Inside Out, joy and sadness come together to form new memories that are kind of like combination memories. When when uh, 22 got her, her Earth badge, it wasn't just happiness that helped her get it because she also experienced a lot of sorrow. And maybe that's why it turned out in Riley's mind the two needed to work together because in order for 22 to find purpose, both joy and sadness needed to come together. So, I don't know. I think it's a good theory. Let me know what you think down below. What do you think about the giant Pixar theory? Do you know about this? I'm sure you do. It's big for a lot of years now. Every movie that comes out, you gotta find a way to fit them in. But let me know down in the comments below what you think about my theory and what you think about the Pixar theory. Um, do you have any theories of your own about Soul? Uh, leave those down below. Uh, and uh, just, uh, yeah, as always, you don't need to have superpowers to be a hero.